It's just so good to be back, isn't it, Nigel? It's fantastic. We've brought together people with diverse skills and, and experiences deliberately to try and tackle problems and different perspectives. Day one is all about really unpacking the problems and really honing in on what it is that they want to solve. I'm leading the sprint for the first time, but also attending the uh, Innovation Festival for the first time as well. And I'm blown away by it. We're really excited to be given the opportunity to represent the NHS here today to look at our challenge, which is around sustainability and how we can apply innovative solutions to our sustainability challenge. Bring the Wipe is an idea that we came up with um, a couple of years ago at the last Innovation Festival. It's a way for us to combat the, the number of wipes in our systems that cause blockages. We've been here teaching, sharing skills on how to fix stuff and trying to educate people so that they are less likely to throw things away in the future. What you guys will achieve over the course of the next few days and the legacy that that's going to bring to the industry is just beyond anything I've ever known. When the winds of change blow, some build walls, others build windows. And I hope you all get to build your windows today. And welcome to day two of the Innovation Festival. I hope you had a great day one. We're going to introduce another invention. is the Fox Dog Studios Sausage Catcher. This is a, if you want to build your own sausage catcher, this is made from a transparent box and a see-through B&Q shower curtain. If you want to get strange looks, go to B&Q and demand only see-through shower curtains. So they spent yesterday really unpicking the challenge that they've got and really understanding what it is that they have to tackle and who their target audience is. What we're doing today is actually kind of bringing people together to explore that impact, of that social importance of, you know, how can we improve the environments that we're living in. We have a sector where people describe the fact they can't see themselves in it. Uh, and when, on day one, when it opened, uh, Nigel was talking about how um, when he looks around the room, he just saw people like him. And, was, and so that's the problem that we're trying to solve. The question that we're asking is how can we improve river water quality whilst creating opportunities for farmers to be more profitable and more resilient? We're actually excavating a hole safely using hydrovacuum excavation. It's something that we developed with Northumbrian Water as a means of offering a safe, a safe excavation process. We've heard from lots of different people from across the industry and across the region who have given us their views on what's not going right right now. And together they're coming together as one and thinking about how they can fix this problem. I toured around the tents and, and saw loads going on. I think there's no shortage of ideas would be my summary of that. Well, they were like tiny saucy sachets. How much could you stash in your tiny saucy sachet? Well, not quite enough for a sausage egg McMuffin. You often need a couple because you never get enough in. You do stuff that's bigger than your ego. Your ego never comes into play. So everything I'm doing is to lay the path for other people to say you can achieve it. Do not follow the stereotypes. That's what innovation needs. It needs lots of different people with different skills, different expertise, different knowledge to come together to help us work on out of challenges. The energy that people get from being together, from interacting, not just in their tent, but over lunch, in the evening. This has a massive multiplier effect. It's been terrific. I, I mean, um, definitely my best week at work this year. <laughs> I think, I think uh, fair to say. I mean, so many things you just don't get to do in a normal week. I'm just really looking forward to hearing more in due course about what's come out of the, the festival this time. But, uh, if, if the energy and the buzz is anything to go by, this is going to be our best fire mile. Yeah. Best fire mile.